friends, Tux here. I got a great keyboard here in the mail today. I want to show you guys. This is from Trust. This is the illuminated keyboard, model number GXT280, and it's got some cool features. From the package here, we can see it has programmable keys, three color LED illumination, and anti-ghosting, which is very important in gaming. Um, the box itself is kind of OEM, but it does have a barcode, so it could be retail ready. Let's go ahead and open up this bad boy and see what this is all about. I know there's a lot of great gaming stuff coming out. We have the new World of Warcraft add-on coming out very soon. And of course, there was recently some add-ons to Overwatch too. So a lot of fun stuff going on. And No Man's Sky, No Man's Sky just came out as well. All right, inside the package here, there's a cool little sticker. You know, I love bonus touches, okay? And the fact that they give you a little gaming sticker or whatever, I'm down with that, that's awesome. Thank you guys, appreciate it. And also inside the package here, we have a little pamphlet keyboard GXT280, nice color glossy look to it. And here it talks about some plugging it in and it talks a little bit about the keys, which is cool. It talks about different illumination. I guess that button there does that. And you can of course pause this and save this if you're into this keyboard. It talks about where to download the software. I do get questions about that quite a bit. So you can pause that and go to the site if you need to. And of course there is the website. So cool little full color little insert. I'm digging that as well. And then let's see what else. Oh, wow, check this out. This is a nice, very glossy little, see how shiny that is? Very cool little trust gaming. Congrats, you've just taken the first step in becoming a champion gamer. Very cool. Um, I'm, I'm digging this little book, man. Uh, has some full color pictures. Looks like they got some pro esports stuff going on. And I love esports, guys, by the way, too. Um, I'm going to BlizzCon later this year, so I'm looking forward to playing uh, some games while I'm there and seeing how that goes. And um, very cool stuff. I'm always looking for clothing sponsors, too. So if you are a keyboard gamer manufacturer, um, get in touch with me and um, I could wear some kind of product stuff that you send me if you desire. So let's see here. Very cool. Trust Gaming. Very cool keyboard. You know, I'm digging the look of this. With, is this this keyboard? Uh, maybe it's not this exact one. We'll see here. I think this is a different one, actually. This is the 285. So let's see. And they have a racing wheel there. Looks very cool. Looks like they, they got some good stuff, actually. This is the first uh, Trust branded keyboard, I believe, that I've had. So very cool. I'm digging the headsets. Very nice pamphlet, guys. I'm, I'm really enjoying this. This is very nice quality, so very cool. Um, awesome inserts, man. I'm kind of blown away here. And of course, the Legal Compliance GXT280 Illuminated Keyboard, okay. All right, let's take a look at the keyboard itself. We've had enough fun with the little extras. I'm gonna put the sticker on someplace, probably my PC, so that's really cool. And of course, the keyboard itself. Let's see, it comes wrapped in nice little plastic. Nice touch, you wanna keep it very nice and fresh. And let's see here, the cord itself is a plastic cord. It feels like pretty heavy plastic though, so I don't think there'll be any problems with this breaking or tearing. It has a hard plastic end and a silver USB port here, which is good. Everything's all tied up real nice for you, so it keeps it good. And the keyboard itself does have some little plastic overlays here. We'll peel these off, keeping all the nice glossy, plastic glossy, which is cool. Now this keyboard itself is not a mechanical keyboard in here. It's very quiet, which is good, especially if you have um, people that are trying to sleep around you while you game. Mechanical keyboards, I love them, no doubt. I've talked about that in other videos, but they can get a little bit noisy sometimes. So sometimes there is a time and a place for everything, and there definitely is a time and a place for a nice, quiet keyboard. Now this is a pretty full-size keyboard here, you can see. It does have your normal set of keys, like numbers on the side, which is very nice. Um, and it has all the usual niceties as far as keys um, up top here. It does have some things that a lot of gaming keyboards don't have actually, like like an email button, a home button, um, different lighting buttons, volume controls, so very cool. Let's go ahead and plug this in and see what this looks like in the dark. Okay, and we're back. I got it plugged in and the computer, which I will say right now, I tested this on a Windows 10 machine. Um, I also do have a Windows 7.1 machine 
Um, I believe it will work on both of those just fine. I plugged in real quickly, didn't encounter any problems. But if you have any particular questions about any certain model of Windows or Linux or anything, please just ask me in the comments below and I'll be very happy to follow up with more information about particular operating systems. Now, the keyboard itself, um, besides plugging in nicely, you really can't see the color very good here with the lights on. So I'm gonna have to dim the lights here a little bit for you to get a full appreciation. We can see how brightly this is lit up with the LEDs. So let me go ahead and dim down here. Okay, in this room here right now, it is nighttime, so there is a little bit of monitor light around the room. This room is not completely dark, and I do have a camera light here off to the side. I wanna see if we can see the LED lighting with that on, so you, you can kind of get an idea what everything looks like without making it completely dark. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we can see the red LEDs are on right now, and it looks like, you know, of course, the whole thing lights up very nice and red. Um, it does not have any kind of like underside lighting, although the GXT280 logo does light up down here. I'm gonna go ahead and dim this just a little bit more, give you guys an appreciation. That's what that looks like. Very cool. Now the button up here will actually allow you to change the lighting itself. So let's go ahead and you can see, you can dim it, make it dim or bright. And then over here, there is some color sequencing. You can make it green. I'm, I'm liking the green, guys. That actually looks really cool. I don't usually go green on my keyboard, but um, that's a really nice bright green. And then there is another color yellow here. And of course, then we go back to off and go back to the red. Um, the red looks really nice as well. I think though, I think my favorite one honestly is probably the green. I'm, I'm really enjoying that green. You can take a look here. Look at this close up and see how shiny this is. The LEDs shine very bright, which is good. If you're someone like me who just play in the dark, um, it's really great to actually be able to light up the keyboard to be able to see the keys nicely. All right, so final thoughts on this keyboard is this is a great choice for a mid-range keyboard. It's not super expensive. This is about $29 on Amazon right now. And the keyboard itself, if you want lighting, is really good. The lighting is bright and vibrant, as you can see from the previous video where it was dark. And with the room lighting on here, of course, you can't really appreciate it, but you have a lot of camera lighting on, so it's very bright in here right now. That's the reason why you don't see the LED lighting, but the lighting is very good, I believe. Um, um, the actual literature that comes with it is A+, plus, man. I was really blown away with all the cool stuff, the little sticker and pamphlet and everything that came with it. Sometimes you don't get anything with some of these keyboards. And it was nice, they packed the stuff in. It's a nice little touch, you know? Um, the keyboard itself, I like the extra buttons. The fact you have volume controls is really good. The home button, email, I probably won't use too much, as you know, but it's kind of cool they make it an option, though. I like that. And the keyboard itself, the fact that it's kickstand is really good. The plastic itself feels nice, it feels solid. I would say, but my only concern about this, having it being such a large keyboard, would be that maybe, um, as you type, if you type hard, there's a little bit of bend right here in the middle. So just be careful that you're not pounding on it too hard or whatever. Be gentle with your keyboard, my friends, all right? And I wanna thank you very much for checking out this keyboard. This was a viewer requested keyboard. And if you guys have anything you'd like to see, let me know in the comments below or shoot me a little um, email or message just saying, hey Tux, you know, could you review this keyboard or this mouse or whatever? And again, if you're a product developer, if you wanna reach out to me for a review that'd be fantastic i love to review new stuff so anyway guys thank you very much for watching this video be sure and check out tux toys on instagram and twitter my toy channel be sure and check out tux reviews on instagram and twitter and of course my beta channel gamer tux all right we'll talk to you soon my friends Bye bye